Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hard to believe. I find it hard to believe anyway. It's been 25 years since this fresh-faced young man first topped the 26, charts. 26, actually. 26? Yeah. Uh, topped the charts with the one and only. These days, you're more likely to find him in L.A. Uh, writing songs like some Jennifer Page and the voice of Jermaine Chapman. Uh, last week, though, uh, Chesney was back in Britain, hitting the road for the start of a new 13-day tour. It's a rather special tour as well, because you've got a very special co-star, haven't you? I have. My old man. Your dad. Yay! Dad. Yeah, yeah. Some of these girls have seen the show already. We, we've been, we've, we've done the first leg of the tour. Um, and it's, this is something that um, I've wanted to do with dad for, you know, for a very long time. Never done it before? A bit of a dream. He's got up on stage with yeah. me, played the old, you know, song in a, in a gig, and I'm, I, if he's playing close, I'll do a, a song with him, you know. But we've never actually done a proper tour, you know, like the fabulous Flying Hawks family tour, because my brother's on the drums, of course. Oh, I've heard, I've heard. Now, yeah. it, it, for those, uh, for younger viewers, what's it? Why aren't you at school? You can't tell. <laughs> for those younger viewers, the Tremolos, your dad was in the Tremolos. How successful were the Tremolos? Well, they had 15 top 10 hits. So, you know, incredibly successful. They had a couple of number ones, worldwide number ones, like um, Silence is Golden, um, you know, and Here Comes My Baby. Uh, I mean, massive, massive band. Yeah. Toured with the Beatles. They did, and The Who. I mean, everyone. Dad, you know, everyone knows Dad, you know. So, all well, my dad's friends are, like, like 60s superstars, like, you know, uh, like Jerry Marsden and Dave D. I grew up with all these people. <laughs> they were they were like my, my Uncle Dave, you know. Incredible. How do you how do you decide who sings what in what order? I mean, I'm going to go first, and you do that, and then you do that. What? Well, I have to defer to, to, to Dad on every, all those decisions because uh, you know all the songs were laid out, and he's like, right, so this is what this is what's going to happen. So, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. It was very it was a democratic thing, really. I mean, we, we get on really well, Dad and I. So you know, he said. No, okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do tremolo songs, right? I was like, yeah, of course. You know, we, we can get Science out. Science is gone. Science is gone. Here comes my baby. Now, now something like Science is gone. When you guest on that, do you do you enjoy yeah, well, it? Mean, what's been brilliant for me is I really enjoy it because normally when I do tours, it's just me. You know, a lot of the time I do a lot of acoustic touring just on my own with a guitar. You know, so this time I've got Jody, my brother, my dad, I've got our old mate Gary, but playing guitar. I'm part of the band. So I'm like playing piano on little tremolo songs or guitar, you know. So I'm literally a band member, and it's, I've never had that before. So I'm really enjoying that part of it. You know, I'm like backing vocalist and keyboard player. <laughs> so, so um, what what of your songs does your dad sing on? He's he's been the most important thing is that he's picked up the bass again. He was the bass player of the, of the tremolos, and he hasn't played bass for a very very long time. So he's picked up bass, and bless him, has learned parts to the one and only, some of my other songs. One and only is in four different keys. It's like a really different, difficult... Sure. <laughs> Actually, I didn't write it, so I can't, no, I can't claim that one. <laughs> that was the Kershaw, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm really, really proud of him. He's, he's, he's done so well. And, well we, you know, we have a lovely clip uh, of you and the old man in the studio duetting on the one and only. Have a look at this. <laughs> No, I hear it's not all songs. You're going to take uh, questions from the audience as well. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. Every night we do like a. We, if people come in, there's like little bits of paper. You write your questions to Chip and Chesney, and uh, so we, we've been doing a questions and answers. Any memorable session. ones? Oh, there's been the, the funniest one for me was because um, in the tremolo songs, they, they're all like um, Lars. It's all, la 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 la, and it's all that kind of. Yeah. And so somebody said so. Uh, did you get royalties from, from La La Land, for, <laughs> <laughs> from the Lars in your... Uh, Very good. Can you have any questions from the audience now? Oh, sure. Well, Fire away, ladies. Hi, Chess. Hi. Hi. What's your favourite song you've ever written and why? Please. Um, that kind of changes uh, on a weekly... Um, but I think my favourite at the moment that I'm really enjoying playing is a song called uh, John Lennon Lived Here, which is on my latest album. It's, I wrote with Nick Kershaw about 25 years ago, about the first time I ever went to New York. Um, and being a you know a John Lennon fan as any young songwriter should be, um, it meant a lot to me. And um, 
my manager at the time said, yeah, it's far too grown up for you now. I was only 19. You know, you, you can't, let's just, you know, let's put that aside. And I wanted to put it on the record, but uh, it ended up being put on a shelf for 25 years, and, uh, and I've just kind of dusted it off, and I've been playing it in this tour, actually. Now, how's your dad doing? Because he had a, a pretty bad medical diagnosis a few years back, didn't he? Yes, uh, he's been in, in remission for, for the last four and a half years, but actually the, the cancer's just come back, and he's literally started um, treatment right now. He's actually at the Royal Marsden right now, um, oh, having his first bout of, uh, of chemo. So it's, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it, how it affects him for the rest of the tour. So. Well, we wish him all the best, you. and if you're watching us, I know the Royal Marsden sometimes have us on the telly. Good morning, Chef, and uh, good morning to all the people that are looking after you, too. Gosh, gosh. I wish you both all the best for the tour. Thank I really you. Do. It's great to have you with us. When you come along, we've got a London gig. I'm in. Good. I'm in. As long as I can ask questions. Yeah, yeah. I ask questions. Yeah.